Path of Exile has seen steady growth over the years since its 2013 early access launch. Available on both PC and Xbox One, featuring redesigned mechanics for the console, the developers at Grinding Gear Games have released several expansions that significantly boost the game's content and millage, giving veterans new dungeons to explore, monsters to fight, and loot to find. But in the next major update, the creators have something a bit different in mind for the community, which will task adventurers to start capturing beasts, instead of slaying them. In the upcoming Bestiary update, releasing on March 2nd, players will be able to join the Bestiary Challenge League, allowing adventurers to capture monsters and store them in a player base known as the Minagiri. In this new area, you'll be able to invite friends to see the many beasts you've captured and also interact with new NPC characters to learn more about the League and what's expected of you. The monsters you find aren't just for show, as capturing the rare beasts often yields access to higher-end weapons and armor. Known as Beast Crafting, you can sacrifice beasts and key monster parts at the Manager's Blood Altar to power up some of your more valuable weapons. But in doing so, you'll summon powerful boss monsters that have to be defeated. Speaking with Path of Exile's lead designer and producer Chris Wilson, he explained their approach to the many updates, and how Grinding Gear Games wants to ensure that current and returning players will have new stuff to play. The basic plan is that four times a year, we release a new league for players. Regardless of whether or not you're new, existing, or returning, there's always something for you to experience. And when they decide to move to another game like PUBG or something, they can always come back to the game and find something new to see. But in addition, we try to make each release a bit different in their own way. You've seen the content for this one, but we've got some weird stuff lined up for June, a larger one in September, and of course we're planning a mega one sometime in the future.